The Return, episode three here, again doing this voiceover on July 21st. So it's a few weeks after these clips. This was a squat strength day. So this was a Monday. This is when I do my heavy squats. And uh, after my top set, I do a few back off sets. So this was 290 for four. And then what I do for my back off sets, which are anywhere between two to four reps or two to four total sets of the same amount of reps of the top set is I take 90% of the weight that I used for my top set. So I'm not really sure what I used here today, but it would be whatever my top set was times 0.95, which is 95%. And then I move into those sets for hopefully going for four sets. And then after my squat work, I did, like I said, the back off sets and then a bunch of other accessories and finish off the day with just some uh, hit cardio. I've really, towards the end of prep, I really liked doing these on the prowler, so like on the sled. So figured I'd keep doing them throughout at least the beginning of my off season while I'm still kind of transitioning. Just got back from the gym a little while ago. It's about 9.30. First uh, legit lower body training day working with Greg Farris and Myobrain. So he's going to be Greg Farris' uh, coach, his uh, team is called Myobrain and I'm going to be working with him for the next few weeks with my training. On my breakfast I wanted to show you guys some rice cakes, some cottage cheese, that whole milk cottage cheese though it's so much better than fat free or 1% and cooking up some oatmeal here in the rice cooker. I've actually never done this before. Just old fashioned oats. Gonna top it maybe with some salt, some butter spray, and some Walton Farms pancake syrup. Looking forward to that, and got a lot of schoolwork to do today. That rice cooker oatmeal cake. Think it'll be any good? It's actually really good. Would recommend cooking oats in the rice cooker. Wow. Alright guys, just a few more training clips here. This was uh, bench press volume day. So like I said in the last video, my volume days for the first few weeks of this DUP cycle was uh, four sets of six to eight reps. So increasing about five to ten pounds per week and just trying to get as many reps as possible. So here I hit four sets of eight reps at 180, which I was really happy with and just really glad that my pressing strength is coming back pretty quickly actually I'm adding like I said five to ten pounds a week which is pretty substantial for a bench press and overhead press but like I said in if you guys followed my prep vlog my uh, pressing strength kinda just crapped out like right at the beginning of prep and just got worse and worse over the thirty something weeks that I dieted for so Looking forward to getting my pressing strength back without getting back up to where I was at the beginning of prep around 200 or 205 pounds. Here's a set of my overhead press work. This was a strength day for overhead press. So going for four reps for my top set and pausing all my reps like I did on bench also. I really feel like this is going to be a lot better for me as my goal is to compete in powerlifting and you have to pause all your benching in a powerlifting meet so I figured why not just train like that because there's really no reason not to in my opinion. First time in a while having a good sized breakfast before the gym. Got a bacon or a broccoli and cheddar omelet here with just egg substitute, some bacon, potatoes and ketchup. Probably gonna head to the gym within like an hour or two and we'll see how I feel. I can't even talk today.